Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name this morning. Glory to your wonderful name, Lord Jesus. Glory to your wonderful name, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we come boldly before your throne this morning. Humbling ourselves, Lord God, under your mighty hand, God. We're humbling ourselves, Lord God, under your mighty hand, Father God. Lord, we come to worship you this morning. We come, Lord God, bowing before your throne, lifting up holy hands, Lord God, in your presence. Lord, we're lifting up our hands, Lord God in total surrenderance of who you are, Lord God, and reverence in you, O oh God, for who you are. Lord, you are more than enough, Lord God. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end, God. There is no God like you in all of the earth. And so, Lord, we just humble ourselves under your mighty hand we bow before you this morning, King of kings and Lord of lords. We bow before your throne, Lord God. Lord, we make you big in our homes today. Lord, we say you be magnified this day. Lord God, you be glorified this day. We decrease this morning, Lord, that you may increase. Increase, Lord God. We say we welcome you into our homes this morning. We welcome you, Lord God, on this platform. We welcome you in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds, and in our spirit, Lord God. We welcome you, Lord God. We come this morning declaring our love for you, Lord God. Lord, we love you this morning. Lord, we honor you this morning. Lord, we worship you this morning. Lord, we adore you this morning, Lord, for there is none like you, Father. And so, Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for another day that we have never seen, Father God. Another day to call upon your name. Another day, Lord God, to sit before your throne. Another day, Lord God, to lift up our hands in your presence. Lord God, another day, Lord God, to worship you. Another day, Lord God, we just say thank you. Thank you for keeping us all we grown. Thank you, Lord God, that no harm or danger came near our dwelling. Thank you for a reasonable portion, Lord God, of our help and our strength. Thank you, Lord God, for our minds today, Lord God. Thank you for healing in our bodies, God. Thank you, Lord God, for touching us like nobody else can, God. Thank you, Lord God for meeting our needs, God. Thank you, Lord God, that there's no need unmet. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing our families, blessing our friends. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you are, Lord God. Thank you for being so good to us, God. Lord, you've been good. You've been kind. You've been merciful, Father. 
And for that, we so appreciate you, God. We appreciate all that you are, God. Your loving kindness, your tender mercies, Lord God. We so appreciate it, God. We come this morning declaring our love for you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you this morning. We honor your presence. Your presence in our home this morning. Your presence, Lord God, on the Zoom, Lord God, on this Facebook Live. Lord, we invite you into our homes this morning. Be in our homes. Be with us today, God. Manifest yourself, oh God, in our homes this morning. Lord, we just welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Move in our homes. Move in every room. Move on every member of our families, God. Oh, God, we give you permission this morning to have your way this morning. Oh, Lord, we understand that it is not about us, but it is about you. It is about your plan and your purpose in the earth realm, God. And we are in agreement with your plan this morning. And so we give you permission, God. We give you permission to manifest in our home. Lord God, we will not go against your will, your plans, God. Lord, move in our homes. Move on our children. Move on our husbands. Move on our mothers. Move on our fathers, God. Move on our grandchildren. Move, Lord God, on our family members. Every family member, Lord God. Move, Lord God, on our co-workers. Move on our neighbors, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we invite you in to have your way. And Lord, if we have done Anything, Lord God, that was contrary to your word, contrary to your will, contrary to your plan, Lord, we ask for forgiveness where we may have sinned, where we may have missed the mark, oh God, where we may not have trusted you, oh God, in all of our ways, where we may have leaned unto our own understanding, Father. We ask for your forgiveness today, Lord God. Forgive us, oh God. Cleanse our hearts. Cleanse our minds. Purify us once again, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you will search our hearts this morning. Search our hearts, Father. Lord, if you find anything not like you, we ask that you would remove it, God, and that you will cleanse us. Purify us. Oh, God. We submit ourselves to you, God, to have your way and to move. Move on us, Father God. Move in our homes, God. Move in our lives. Move, Lord God, on our jobs. Move, Lord God, in our communities, God. Move in our city. Move in our states. Move, Lord God, in our nation. Lord, we're asking that you will heal our land. For your word has declared that if my people who are called by name, my name, hallelujah, who are called by my name, Lord, we are called by your name. We are your children. You said that we will humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, that you will heal our land. And so, Lord, I decree that we are turning from our wicked ways, God, and we are seeking your face. Lord, we ask asking that you will heal our land, heal our cities, heal our communities, heal our nation, God. Heal our nation, God. Lord, we pray for our president of the United States, God. 
we pray for his wife. Lord God, we pray that your will is done. We send your word to the capital for God, to heal and to heal with God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for wise decisions being made, Lord God. We cancel every assignment of an enemy that would like to divide this country. We say that we are united, even as we uh, say that this is the United States of America. But Lord, we come against the vision. Lord God, we cancel every assignment of division, every assignment of hatred, every assignment of racism, every hallelujah, every assignment, Father God, that wants to sow discord and hatred and discrimination. We cancel those assignments now in the name of Jesus. We say that our land is healed. We say that we are prosperous. We say that we are united. We say that we are strong in you and the power of your might. Lord God, we continue to pray for all of our leaders in our individual states and in our individual communities, Father God. We pray, Lord God, for the lawmakers. We pray for all of those that are in authority. In the name of Jesus, God, you are the God of us, a judge. Lord, we ask him that you would just sit in, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and that you work all things out for the good of those that love you, God. And so we declare that healing will be in our land. And so we declare that our land will be unified, God, and our land will be healed. And Lord, we just lift up our young people. In the name of Jesus, we declare, Lord God, that our young people will hear you, God. We thank you that you are touching them in a mighty special way, Lord God. Some say that this generation is lost, but I beg to differ. Lord, put your hand on our young people. Put your hand on our young women. Put your hand, Lord God, on our young men. Oh, God, bless them, Lord God. Change their thought processes, God. Let them know their worth, God. Let them know that there are more in you, God. In the name of Jesus. No matter what the world says, Lord God. But we turn to you and what your word says, God. Let them know their identity, oh, God. We cancel every assignment that will keep them from knowing who they are in you. We cancel that assignment that wants to stop them from going forth, Lord God, and all that you have called them to do, Lord God. Help them to understand that there's a call on their lives, God. That you have called them, Lord God, by, by their names, Lord God. Your word even declares that in thy mother's womb, you knew them. Lord God, help them, help them to understand hallelujah, that they are more in you, oh God. Your word even declares that that very number of hairs on their head are numbered, and you know, oh God. Lord, I just pray, Lord God, for our young men and our women. We cancel destiny blockers that wants to stop them from walking in the things of you. We cancel every assignment of deaf ears. Let them hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying, God. Lord God, as I lay hands on my ears, prophetically I am laying hands on every ear of our young men and our young women. Let them hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Let it penetrate their hearts. Let a change take place, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I prophetically lay hands on my eyes. That our young people will see in the spirit realm, Lord God. 
that they will not focus on the things that they see with their natural eyes. Let them see in the spirit world. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, touch every heart, touch every mind, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, Lord God, for more mentors in our community. More leaders, more leading men, God. I'm calling forth, Lord God, our men this morning. Godly men, praying men, God. Men that will believe, be leaders in the church, leaders in our community, leaders, Lord God, in our nation, godly leaders, Lord God, in our homes. Oh, God. Let the righteous men stand up, God, in the name of Jesus, that will be head of their families, that will be fathers to their children, that will lead their children in the right direction. And we're calling for Proverbs 31 women in our neighborhoods, God, in our cities, in our communities, in the church, in our homes. Help our young ladies, Lord God to be respected and understand their bodies and understand their worth, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray that you will build up strong families, that our men will get in their rightful place. Lord, we pray, Father God, for the resources to come to our communities, God. Whether it be training, Hallelujah, whether it be education, Lord God, whether it be money, funding, Lord God, whatever it is, bring it to our communities in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we even cancel the plan, the plans of the enemy, Lord that God, that want to distort our, our resources, God, that wants to steal our resources. Let the resources be distributed, Lord God. Fairly, God, in our community, in our cities, in our schools, God, in the name of Jesus, give our children a better chance, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you sit on those board meetings, that you will sit, Lord God, with our principals, that you will sit with our mayors as they make decisions for our children, Lord God, as they... Uh, Go back to school, Lord God, or whether it's homeschool, Father. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're giving it to you, Lord God. We're asking, Lord God, that you would move on it, Father. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on our children, God. Bless our children, Lord God. Bless our youth, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless families, Lord God. Build strong families, Lord God, in our neighborhoods, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. We say that our families are strong. We say that you're building our stru the structure in our families, Lord God. Lord, we bind the vision in our families, Father. We say that our families are strong in you. And in the power of your might, God, strengthen our families. Strengthen, Lord God, the church. Strengthen our pastors. Strengthen our leaders, God. We speak strength to every pastor, Lord God. And every first lady, Lord God. And assistant pastors, God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you're giving them wisdom on how to move forward, Lord God. Have them how to move the church forward, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that the church is being a help to our communities, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that you're sending the resources, Lord God, to the church. In the leadership, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. For every pastor, we speak the supernatural strength of Almighty God. We thank you that you've given them wisdom on how to continue with ministry, Lord God. 
We understand that some are still, are still not in the buildings. Some are, Lord God, but we're sending your word. And we decree and declare, Father God, that you're giving them wisdom. You're giving them, Lord God, fresh revelation. Lord God, you're giving them a better understanding, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you're giving them a fresh anointing, Lord God, to be able to draw people, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that you're putting fresh fire on our altars. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, as you anoint the pastors, as you strengthen them, God, Lord God, as you renew their mind, as you renew their strength, let it trickle down through the house, Lord God. To those that are in leadership, Lord God. To those that are assisting them, Father God. Those that are doing the work of the ministry, Father. I decree that they are strong in you, Father God. I bind every spirit of discouragement that will come to discourage them. That will come to distract them. I bind every spirit of distraction. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of discord, hallelujah. Every spirit that wants to come and water down the word, we say that your word is going forth with power and with might. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that the church is there for the community, God. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen our houses, God. Strengthen the physical being, building, but strengthen us, Lord God, for we understand that we are the church. Give us boldness, Lord God, to speak what it is that you're telling us to speak. Give us boldness, Lord God, to go where you're telling us to go, that we may spread the gospel. For your word has declared that every believer is called to the ministry of reconciliation. And so, Lord, we just thank you that we are reconciling the lost back to Christ. Lord, I pray for every evangelist, Lord God. I thank you that the spirit of evangelism just falls fresh on us, Lord God. Lord God, that we may go to the streets, even as Jesus did, and compel them to come and compel the lost and compel them to come back to you, God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we give you praise this morning. Lord, your praise shall continue to be upon our lips. For we understand that it is the praises of God that steals the enemy. And so we just praise you this morning. And so we magnify your name this morning. And so, Lord, we make you big this morning. There is none like you, God. Lord God, there's no God like our God. There's no God like our Oh God, we praise you, even through this pandemic. Some have lost loved ones. Some have lost jobs and income. But Lord, we just decree and declare, Lord God, that you are bringing it back. Everything that was lost, everything that was taken, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you are restoring. Lord God, we're calling finances, Lord God, to be increased. We're calling wisdom, Lord God, because we understand that we can have money. But if we don't have the wisdom to be able to do what we need to do with it, we'll be back in the same place. And so, Lord, I ask for wisdom, Lord God, in our household. Wisdom with the church. Wisdom, Lord God, on how to handle our monies. Wisdom, Lord God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Excuse me. 
Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, God. Move in our families, God. Have your way today. We give you permission to move in our homes. Move, Lord God, on our men, on our women, on our pastors, on every leader in the church. Strengthen them, Lord God. We say that we are strong. We bind every way with spirits, every spirit of fear. We say that we are not afraid. We thank you, Lord God, that when we go out to speak, that your word in our mouths. We thank you that we are slow to anger. Hallelujah. We will not operate in anger. We will not operate in fear. But we'll operate in love. For your word says that you'll know them by their loves, Father God. And I thank you that we just show more love, Lord God, to ourselves, to our brethren. Lord God, to those that are in our communities, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up our first responders, our police, our firefighters, Lord God, those that are called to serve and protect. We lift them up, God. We pray for their families. We pray that you will give them wisdom. We pray that you will purify their hearts. We come against corruption in our police departments, God in our mayor office, God, in the name of Jesus. We come against discrimination, God, and we replace it with love. We replace it with integrity. We impress, we in, hallelujah. We replace it with the power of the living God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, for this is a day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And so, Lord, we lift up this day to you. We decree that today will be a good day. We lift up every service that is open in your name, especially Manifest the Glory International Ministries. We lift it up. We lift up our service. We thank you for the speaker today. We speak strength upon her. We thank you that rivers and rivers of living water is flowing in her belly, even now as I speak, Lord God, that you are preparing that word. Let it bubble up on the inside of her, Father. Let it come forth with boldness and with might in the name of Jesus. We thank you for every assignment that you have given unto her, God. We thank you that the assignment will be executed with power and might. We cancel every assignment, Father God, that wants to water this word down. Every assignment that wants to stop it from coming into our ears and into our hearts. We thank you that the word will not fall on deaf, deaf ears, but it will fall on ears. It will enter our hearts and that our lives will be changed. That our lives will be better, God, because of your word, the bread of life. For the word that heals, that delivers, and sets free, God. Lord God, as she preaches today, whatever platform it is, whether it be YouTube, Zoom, Facebook Live, we pray, Father God, that it will penetrate the airwaves, penetrate every house, penetrate every ear, every heart, every soul, every spirit, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we give you free will to move and we speak a supernatural strength upon our apostle today. We thank you for the rhema word, words of wisdom, words of knowledge. We thank you for your prophetic anointing, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that your word in her mouth and that the word will come forth 
like a double-edged sword, penetrating the hearts of our men, penetrating the hearts of our women, of our children. And we bless those that will listen, even those that will listen to the weekly. In the name of Jesus, and God, we give you praise today. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. And we say amen. Amen. If you're in your home, if you're listening live, just say amen as we agree and seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Again, this is Minister Tamika Wilson. I invite you all to come and worship with us this morning. Every Sunday at 1045 a.m. You can like our page. We also have a YouTube page. Please like, subscribe, and share with your followers. You never know who's hurting and who may need this word this prayer and the word that will come forth for God as the um, apostle preaches this morning. You can inbox us, Manifest the Glory International Ministries. You can reach out if you know a member personally, you can reach out to a member and we will personally connect you with the right person. I just speak multiplied blessings over every listener today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Be blessed. Hallelujah.